Good evening. Friends have been paying tribute to two men from Swindon who died while swimming in the River Avon in Bath. Two other swimmers who were with them were rescued by a passerby who jumped into the water. It happened close to the weir near Bathampton Mill yesterday afternoon. Sangeeta Lal is there for us this evening. Sangeeta, this is just a, another tragic reminder of the dangers of, of swimming in rivers. Yeah, it really is, John. See, this group of friends came here to enjoy themselves in the sunshine in this very popular spot for swimming. Even today, we've seen people in the water just 24 hours after two men lost their lives. Now, eyewitnesses say the two victims weren't jumping off this bridge into the water. They were, in fact, swimming down below. Well, earlier today, many who knew them came to pay their respects. Remembering their friends. Yesterday, this is where two young men were swimming in the sunshine. Today, it's where their tributes lie. I was with them a week ago and I just can't believe it's gone and didn't want to get to say goodbye. Still coming to terms with what happened here, they'll never forget the moment they heard the news. And I was driving back to Swindon and you heard it, it was really bad, I couldn't believe it. I was literally in my tears. First thing was going to his family, telling them that his brother's never coming home, then going to his girlfriend, telling them as well. It was really hard. They were trying to just get away from the lockdown and they were key workers, they all worked together and so they just come out for a day out and this good time turned into a sad time. Emergency crews were called after reports two people had got into trouble in the water. Many tried to help, others watched in shock. Toby is 12 years old. One of them was already under by the time we could see but, and then we saw one of them, their head popped up and then didn't come, went down and then didn't come back up again. Toby's family say they think one man was swimming, lost his footing and fell beneath the surface as the water became deeper. Then another friend went in after him but also got into trouble. Two more friends then tried to save them. With four now struggling in the water, eyewitnesses say a bystander jumped in and managed to rescue two. I don't know who he was, but he was incredibly brave and uh, he was distraught, of course, afterwards. But he did an amazing job. You know, he rescued two out of four. Avon Fire and Rescue crews have also commended this stranger's actions, but advise members of the public against risking their own lives to help others. They also want to remind people about how dangerous this water can be. But for regular swimmer Ben, it's a risk he's willing to take. There's a couple of bits where you can see the water's really swirling around. I feel fairly confident managing the risk that's, that's here. Emergency services are warning people to be aware about the risks of wild swimming, hoping no one has to feel the same pain these friends do now. Nah, I, I wish I was here, you know what I mean? That's how I'm feeling, like I wish I was here to do something, but that's, that's what hurts the most. Thank you. Too. Incredibly sad to hear from uh, friends and family members there. Many of the people highlighting the dangers of swimming in, in rivers, but actually with the weather as it is, you've also been hearing about the, the reminder, the, the safety warnings about swimming in seas as well. Yeah, John T, so the RNLI are saying that they won't be patrolling beaches across North Somerset, only in Devon and Cornwall. That's because they say they haven't been able to maintain training over the lockdown and the pandemic, so their crews aren't actually at full capacity. And just earlier this week, we were reminded how dangerous some of the West Country's coasts can be. This man got stuck in the mud in Burnham and didn't even make it out to water. He actually had to be rescued by a hovercraft. And as you say, as we're heading into another weekend of warm weather, there is some concern many will head to these tourist destinations, potentially putting themselves in danger. Because we know the beach is pretty safe, we're quite happy. Do you know I mean, we understand about the muds and so forth, but it does worry me with other people coming to the area, not understanding quite the risks that involved. It's scary to see visitors here um, and when they don't know the dangers and people seem to be ignoring their pedestrian, no pedestrian access thing. So you see a lot of toddlers with the parents, but they just don't know the dangers. Well, with warm weather expected over the next few days, emergency services are trying to remind people about the dangers of swimming, not just off our coast, but also in our rivers. And while investigations take place to understand exactly what's happened here, crews are asking people if they can stay out of the water to do so and to stay safe. Thank you to our live in Bath. Thank you.